I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. I wanna show you how to make a water map like this with the depth contours. The Inkscape part is very easy. We use Trace Bitmap to extract each different layer, and I'll show you the steps on how to do the effect. The trick is, where do you get the data? In an earlier tutorial, we used Open CMap, which gives great contours, but questions like this were coming in. When I zoom in on the area I want, it doesn't have enough definition. So I did some research and I found a far superior way of how to get the information that we need. You wanna to go to nauticalcharts.noaa.gov. I'll have a link in the description below. And you can type in wherever you wanna go or you can zoom in. Here's Cape Cod and Boston. We'll go north of Boston to my favorite, one of my favorite spots, Crane Beach. This is actually it right here. You can see the depth contours are clearly defined, but there's way too much action on this chart. Luckily, they give us a lot of options so we can clean it up. First, let's zoom in. Right about here is good. On the sidebar menu, you'll see these stacks. Click that. On the layer list, we can deselect some of this. Some of it stays, some of it goes. Information about the chart, that can go. Natural and man-made features, that stays. Depths. That'll stay, seabed, no, traffic routes, no, special areas, buoys, services, everything else goes. Before I take it to the next part, click on these three dots, you'll see transparency pops up. You can slide it from the depth chart we're using into, I guess this is the default map that they use, but check this out. If you hit these four boxes, the base map gallery, some of these maps they provide are pretty impressive. I can hit imagery. This is pretty sharp. I'm not gonna zoom in because I don't wanna mess up my scale, but here's Crane Beach. Here's one of the channels you can take to get there by boat. Here's another. I wanted to show you this in case you wanted to isolate exactly the part of the map that you want. You can slide the transparency to depth chart, full map. All right, go up to the gear. First, go to depth contour tab. The example I wanna to demonstrate today needs at least three or four, maybe even five different depths. Right now, I only see one, the blue, and the green I think represents the low tide mark. But you can change that very easily on shallow contour. It's at 10 meters, make it one apply there you go we can use the different colors with trace bitmap to create the different depths the colors are off i don't know why light blue was deeper than this dark blue and why is green even being used but we'll fix that if your map still has more labels and data go to miscellaneous some of these attributes don't change anything but down here display categories deselect standard deselect other none of these really affect anything if you go to the bottom where you can't scroll anymore there is one key two color depth zone shades if you have that on it makes anything shallow Shallower than a certain point, all the same color, it ruins the whole effect. Make sure you have two color depth zone shades off. Hit these two triangles to get rid of the sidebar. Position things the way you want. And there is no right click download. So you'll have to do a screenshot. If you need help learning how to do a screen capture, let me know in the comments and I'll see about getting you some options. Let's go back into Inkscape and wherever you put the screenshot, whether it be the desktop or a folder, drag it onto the canvas. You'll see a pop-up box, image type, embed, DPI from file, okay. And here's a trick you may or may not have seen before. The page is right there. If you have the map selected, you can go to file, document properties, and this right here, resize to content, that will change the page for us automatically. It's gonna be helpful at the end if you wanna export this in a defined area. And now we can go to work. Trace bitmap, if you've never used it, is under path, trace bitmap. I've got a bunch of tutorials on this. For today, move over to the multicolor tab, detection mode, colors, and the default is eight. Here's your preview pane. Eight is gonna to be too many. To demonstrate what I mean, if I do two colors, enter, you can see exactly what trace bitmap is going to extract. Change it to three. Here's the first difference in depth, four, and that's all we want. If I go back to five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna take details you don't want and some of the actual colors might get split into two different pieces. We need everything as one piece so we can make the contour quickly. I've got my scans back to four. Speckles, smooth corners, optimize, all selected. I have mine at two, one, point two. Very important for this tutorial, deselect smooth, deselect stack, and don't choose remove background, apply. Here it is. Now we have the vector version of the map and I can choose object, fill and stroke to open up the fill and stroke menu because this will help us isolate each layer. If I click on this layer here, hey crew, the Rubik's cube. Yeah. Okay, if I click on this layer here on the fill and stroke menu, if I have the fill tab, I can see it's selected and that's gonna allow us to change the color with the eyedropper to the land color. Go to the deep water, eyedropper, dark blue, Next layer, 
eyedropper mid and the green will finally look better when we change it to the light blue. Now you might notice there's some words here. You can get rid of any extra text like that by double clicking. And if you hold shift, you can make a bounding box over everything. Hit delete. That's one of the layers. Do it again. Click on whatever you see left. Shift, bounding box, delete. And that takes care of that. All right, so here is the effect to do the depth. Click off of everything so you have nothing selected. I'll click on the deepest, shift, second deepest, Keep holding shift and get the shallows. So I have three of the different layers selected. Go up to filters, shadows and glows, drop shadow. Now over here, you'll see your menu for blur radius. You can play around with this to play. Come on over. What are you doing? Are you having a popsicle? Yeah. We're making a map. Let me just finish this real quick, okay? You can watch if you want. Blur radius 0.5, horizontal offset 0.2, vertical offset 0.5. You wanna have it set to shadow type outer, live preview. That's looking good right there, apply. We need to get the land and a hierarchy up here, put it on the top. With it still selected, go back to filters, shadows and glows, drop shadow. There she goes. And this time you can play around with it again if you want, but I'll keep the exact same settings, live preview. That looks good, apply. And you've got it. All right, I think this will be a really short tutorial for today, I got my hands full. You can always put a label on at the end. Did you wanna say anything, crew? Come up to the mic and say it. He's got a channel himself, he just started. Go ahead. If you wanna check out my channel, it's called Cruise Reviews. Okay, all right, we'll see you next time. See ya! <laughs>